Hey everybody, I'm Random Frank P. In this video, I'm going to show you the new effects and cool color variations for the Razer Chroma and their new software. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to the little settings icon up top and make sure you have the newest uh, software update downloaded because in this new update is where the new effects and uh, cool color variations are all going to be. So make sure you have that downloaded right off the bat. I think it was released the 6th. So I'm just going to show you a brief overview of the new software. It's not going to be a specific tutorial on a certain effect or anything like that. It's more of a general overview so you guys uh, don't just jump into it blinded. You have a better understanding of what it is uh, before the first time you get the software booted up. So once you do, um, you'll see once it's downloaded, it's pretty similar to what we've seen in the past. What you're going to want to do is go to the Lightings tab, uh, click on the Eraser Configurator right there, and this will bring up this whole new menu. Uh, it's going to kind of run you through the new stuff that they have available. Take the time to read it. Take the time to learn it because it's going to help you uh, definitely in the end. They have you know their key presets for what, what effect you want to apply to the certain zones. They have their um, their effects right there, and they have their new patterns. They have ones that you can make. They have the preset ones for you with a bunch of different colors, uh, which is pretty cool. But for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to make our own rainbow ones. So as you see, I'm hitting this plus button, which is adding stops, and I'm clicking colors from the palettes. And then uh, we're going to make our own, you know, rainbow gradient. So I'm spacing it out to make the gradient more um, appropriate and make it look better, more like a gradient. Change the speed a little bit. You can change, you know, the duration of the keys, the width of the keys, uh, the a bunch of different cool effects that you can just mess around with on your own just to really get a better understanding of it. So, again, it's made this random little uh, ripple effect, and this ripple effect kind of looks like this rainbow, uh, Easter rainbow effect with bright, light colors you know and again this was made what within less than 20 seconds and it was my first time booting it up very very similar to the Corsair gaming software which is nice because that allows you to do a bunch of different things so the fact that Razer is actually putting this out for us to make our own color combinations our own color effects and patterns is really really awesome but take time to mess around with the different effects uh, with the you know the key width the color combinations the duration and stuff because it's gonna help you out in the end uh, what's pretty cool now is you can add different layers of combinations. So I added a green breathing effect, and now I'm going to add a ripple effect. A ripple effect will just make it, you know, light blue and dark blue so we can see the contrast or whatever. So now we have two effects on top of each other. So right now I press it, triggering it, uh, and was green, breathing green, and you can see a little blue little ripple effect when I would press a key. If you didn't see it, I'll show it again, but right now, breathing green, whenever you press a key, it's going to ripple blue, which is pretty, pretty cool. I like how you can do that now. You can add different effects, uh, different layers. That's pretty awesome. So here, going into the more, uh, the rainbow stuff, as you can see, I just made every other color in the rainbow uh, for the gradient red. Apply that, so now that's how it's going to look. And it was very simple to do so. And just, I know I keep saying it, but the more you take the time just to learn it, to look at the effects yourself, uh, the easier it's going to be in the end, because it's really simple, and you just, all you have to do is just hit apply, and you can just make a bunch of cool color combinations, all that good stuff. So, say you want the, the effect to be never ending, when you go to start, where I just showed you, you hit constant, uh, ending, never, and that will just put whatever color combination you made um, pretty much just on a constant loop. People were liking that in the past where they can just have it going whenever, whenever. The effect, not when they only press the key, so very simple to do that. You know, here just showing different combinations of stuff you can do. Uh, this is me really just messing around with it on my own to show you guys stuff that you can do. Uh, and it's all very simple. You know, more rainbow ripples. I really, I really like the whole ripple and reactive effect. And what's cool is, you know, when you press one key, uh, it comes, the ripple effect comes out from that key, and you can press it in multiple areas, and it'll come out from that multiple area. But I think my favorite thing about this software is the fact that you can add um, layer effects and just keep laying them on top of each other to make this big, crazy light show. So, you know, I have that little rainbow ripple coming out, and now I have a pink ripple. So I guess what my desired animation is going to be is a rainbow ripple on the keyboard, then wherever I press a pink ripple coming out. And then right here, I'm adding just a green uh, reactive effect. Um, it's kind of like Photoshop with the layers. So as you can see right now, uh, that ra that pink ripple is coming out on top of the rainbow one. So now I'm putting the green reactive one on top. And you can see now whenever I press, um, it's that green reactive uh, effect with the rainbow ripple in the background. So again, it's a general overview of the features of this keyboard itself and the new software. 
Hope it helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below. Or you can hit me up on Twitter at RandomFrankP. I'll definitely get back to you on there, so follow me on there. And, you know, definitely hit subscribe if you like this. I've done a ton of tech reviews in the past. I've done a bunch of stuff with this Chroma keyboard. So if you like this video, hit subscribe, and I'll do more for you guys. So thanks, everybody. I'm Random Frank P. Have a good day.